Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. You do not have to be a Libra for this message to be for you. Okay, come on now. Cross watchers, you might have to vice versa the roles. We're going to start with the energy oracles today. Let's see what we've got for Libra. Please and thank you. For Libra, that card looks like it wants to come out. The world. Wrapping up some cycles, learning some lessons, starting a new chapter. Um, technology. I'm getting technology. Or worldwide. Something about worldwide. We have indecision. <laughs> Libra, are you being indecisive? <laughs> no, -uh, no way. Not a Libra. What do we have? Woman holding a coin in reverse. Are you broke or... Is this your worth and your value? You just don't see it right now? What 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 the fuck is this? Feeling unlucky right now? What is this? The thinking woman. Well, thinking's not doing any good if you're indecisive right now. Are you I feel like you're coming to an end of a chapter where you don't know your worth and your value or you're just struggling financially. I feel like that's coming to an end here. I think that's wrapping up. Maybe you don't know how or you have so many different options. You're like, I don't know which one. Let's just try this and see how it goes and then we'll try that and then, you know, we'll, we'll just keep trying. We'll keep going at it. We'll, you know, it's like you're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. We don't know what's going to work. But we're willing to, to try everything, right? We're not going to give up. Giving up is not an option. But you're struggling with that, too. So, let's see. Door to value at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is, yeah. The money's coming in, or it's going to be, because this is at the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming is your worth, your value, Um somebody somehow the world is going to show you how much you mean or this is wrapping up that financial difficulty and accessing the money that you need some of you guys just looked up to the heavens and you're like please help please help and then boom help comes in again you're not really sure how so you're trying to pull all the strings that you can some of those strings are going to work out. Some of them aren't, right? But some of them are. I don't know how long this is going to take for things to balance all the way out. But Let's see what the Sacred Heart Tarot has for you guys. For Libra. Please and thank you. Maybe the devil card at the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some fears, worries, concerns. There could be some toxic spending habits that need to be addressed. Maybe you didn't realize this was an issue, but you're gonna once you do, you're gonna wrap it up. Maybe there were some unknown expenses or charges or something like that. I don't know. Subscriptions even. What else do we have for the Oh, thank you. Oh, the five of cups. You're all up in your emotions right now, aren't you, Libra? Just like nothing's working, feeling really lost, feeling depressed, feeling alone, very sad. Look at all those tears, all that crying you've been doing, Libra. Behind closed doors, too, somebody cries in the shower so nobody else sees it. You're, uh, you're a secretive crier. You don't like it when people see you cry. You fight your tears when you're around other people, but when you're alone... You can finally get it out. Somebody's also um, sitting down. You turn the shower on and you just kind of sit down on the floor and let the water hit you. 
And just get it out, Libra. You need to get it out. Yeah, exactly. The hangman. Get it the fuck out. There's a shift in perception that's coming in, though. Like, things are going to turn around for you. All right? Yeah, justice. See, the divine is not going to have their children out here crying. Baby, what's wrong? Libra, what's wrong? Let's get those scales back balanced again. Now, for some of you, this could be you coming in to help somebody who's going through this. So please keep that in mind, okay? But yeah, there's definitely a shift in perception here coming through. Things are going to turn around. Things are going to balance back out. Things are going to be okay. Again, I'm not seeing how, but I'm definitely seeing that happen. We have Pisces and Libra, Aquarius. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Princess of Cups. I just feel like Somebody is going to show their appreciation to you or it's like the right person says exactly what you needed to hear in that moment. Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, you're going to move forward. Um, there's an ascension process that's taking place as well. This could also be somebody that was really struggling with their education. It looks like something is finally clicking. There could even be a different method here that you're using, Libra, that's getting you through this. Again, this could be really good advice coming your way. This could even be something that opens your heart chakra, right? So that it grows three sizes. <laughs> Maybe you felt like you couldn't afford something and somebody's going to step in and pay for you. I don't know. I just heard, oh no, you're going to be at this wedding. I need you at this wedding. There's somebody, okay, this is very specific. So for like one person here, you're supposed to stand up in somebody's wedding um, or you're an immediate family member and they're going to fly you out. They're going to pay for your food, lodging expenses. They're going to pay for everything. You're going to be at that wedding. Come hell or high water. I just heard that. Come hell or high water, you're going to be there. We'll fly you out if we need to. We'll put you up here if we need to. Or we'll get you a hotel if we need to. But you're going to be here. Some of you guys didn't realize it. It means this much to the bride or groom that you be there. Like you didn't even realize you meant that much to them or something. Maybe you're finding out you mean so much to somebody or... I don't know. that. Like I said, this could be so many different things. There could even be like a public speaker here that I'm talking to. All right. But there's going to be a turnaround. Things are going to balance out. Things are going to be a lot better. There's opportunities coming in for you. You're launching forward. You're going to be back up on your feet moving in no time. Some of you guys are, in fact, going on that vacation or going to this wedding or, you know, doing something. I feel like somebody else is going to help you with this. Yeah, the three of discs. That's teamwork. This is a team effort. This is a group effort, guys. You're not you're not in it alone. Yeah, ace of cups. See? We're standing that cup back upright so that your cup overfloweth. This is your emotions and your intuition. I think somebody loves you so much that they want to see you succeed. That's what this is. Someone, something, could even be a group of people coming together to do something nice for you because 
I feel like you're an inspiration to this person. And when you're down in the dumps, it really fucks up their day in a way that you probably don't believe me. But it's true. Libra, believe it or not, you being in a bad mood can really, really affect the people around you because they lean to you so often. They want to do something to get you back in good spirits. Like you mean so much to this person. They never want to see you cry. And you're crying. You might not say it, but they know it. They're like, no, fuck that. <laughs> I need my Libra good and happy. I feel like you've helped these people too. More than you know. They're viewing this as a, a chance to do the same for you. Return that favor. It's actually really beautiful, Libra. I feel like you're going through something that somebody else is going to help you with. It's almost like your lesson is to allow other people to help you, which I know is difficult because a lot of us Libras are extremely independent. So it can be hard to ask for help. It's so easy to give help, but it's so hard to ask for it. Some of you guys, you just need to ask, you know, ask, borrow and beg for a little bit because yeah, what an interesting reading. I usually don't pull anything like that, but okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Libra. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to, and um, I will see you soon. Until next time, stay beautiful.